I think we just have lethal. I can't add. Math is hard. So they Hello, block. good game. Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having just a magical day. Thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. We have a deck that is honestly next level. I have no words to describe this deck today other than it is, it's the tits. I'm gonna come straight out, you know. This deck is absolutely amazing. I love it. I'm gonna be playing with this literally all set. We have Orzhov, white and blue, Spirit Tribal. Doesn't sound like much, but the way that it's performing is incredible against some of the best decks in the meta right now as well. We're climbing up ranked uh, with ease. The, no difficulty here whatsoever, which is a ton of fun. We're gonna reveal the deck list, talk about the strategies, the synergies held within, showcase all of that, throw out our gameplay footage today in Mythic, and then finally wrap up with our final thoughts and deck review. So if you don't mind, help support the channel, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe so you don't miss out on more content like this in the future, and then you can smash that thumbs up button every day. It would mean the world to me. You can also join that community Discord available within the link tree link, and the deck list again is in the description below. Like always, let's take a look. Vengeful Martyr is a 60 card standard, best of one, 2.3 average mana value, 29 creatures to seven non-creatures, 24 land deck. We have Spirit Tribal, focused around the Patrician Geist for three mana, a 2-2 with flying, and other spirits you control get plus one, plus one. Spells you cast from the graveyard will cost one less to cast. So not only does this increase the power and toughness of all of our creatures, but will also reduce the cost of our spirits from the grave via the disturbed ability right and that is uh, abundance within the deck as well we have mirror hole mimic which can copy anything we want but what better thing to copy than the patrician geist you may have it enter the battlefield uh, as a copy of any creature on the battlefield except it's a spirit in addition to its other types we are typically copying our geist unless our opponent has something that we absolutely uh, love to have, right? Uh, so with this being said, we have basically six copies of the Patrician Geist. However, when the Mimic dies, we can recast it through to Disturbed as the enchantment onto uh, a copy of a creature, and then we will have it uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, create a token that's a copy of the enchanted creature, except it's a spirit in addition to its other types, right? So instead of getting one copy of that creature, uh, as the spirit or the mimic. The mimicry at the beginning of our upkeep will create a copy every single turn, which is crazy good. Um, stacking these patrician geists up, all of our spirits get plus one, plus one, plus one, like, and they stack onto each other. Insane, right? We also have the ability to stack the clarion spirits if we want to create a ton of one ones with flying. And again, those are spirits. They receive a benefit from that tribal buff as well which is really, really quite cool. Moving away from there, we have a nice synergy through the Vengeful Victim and Retribution. First off, it's a 4-4 with flying for two. What? However, whenever it attacks or blocks, we sack it, right? So make sure to get that damage in or block a gold span dragon, but typically just take the damage, we're an aggro deck. The Retribution can be played through the Disturbed for three mana enchanted to a creature and whenever that creature attacks create a 4-4 spirit with flying that's tapped and attacking that gets sacked on end step that's a lot of damage output you know what i mean a 4-4 with flying every turn what that's insane and then we have uh katilda dawnheart mentor protection from vampires flying lifelink its power and toughness are equal to the number of permanents we control that are spirits and or enchantments which is what our entire deck is rising dawn through disturbed four five Enchant creature, enchanted creature has flying, lifelink, protection from vampires, and gets plus X plus X, where X is the number of permanents and or, uh, sorry, permanents of spirit and enchantment type uh, that we control, which is, it's crazy. So the whole deck has flying, right? Except for the Clarion Spirit. And then we put Katilda on the Clarion Spirit. It gets super buff and it's just massive flying damage. We have Fading Hope to bounce, uh, open up those attack lanes. And we also have the Dream Shackle Geist to open up our attack lanes. The Geist is a 3 mana, 3-1 three, with flying. At the beginning of combat on your turn, choose up to one. Either tap a creature, right, that flying blocker, or 
target creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. And that's even better because if it's tapped, it's staying tapped, baby. And these can stack up again, locking down the entire field. So, so good. We have Counterspell through the Snare, which is nice. It costs less if we have an Enchantment and a Spirit fitting perfectly within the deck. Strict Proctor shutting down so many things. Uh, if it's an ETB effect, they have to pay two extra, unless uh, if they don't, it will be countered. And this is like, you know, the Chariot uh, is a big one here. Um, there's so there's so many different things uh, that have, eat, uh, the Meat Hook is another one, right? So the Proctor is very, very good in the meta right now, just for, you know, kind of confusing your opponent because I get it, it's hard to read. Don't, you know, you don't have to convince me. The Spirit is a nice early one drop. It's nice to play on the Clarion Spirit. I guess it's the Ascendant Spirit. They're all spirits, LOL. But you can buff it up. A 2-3, a 4-4, four, four, and then finally a 6-6 six, six that draws you a card, which is really, really cool there as well. The Pathway and the Breach for land consistency and the Snow Lands for the Ascendant Spirit. I cannot get over this deck, you guys. It is performing so well. You're going to love it. Thanks for watching the deck tech portion of the video. Make sure to like the video down below. That thumbs up icon really does help the channel's performance. You can also subscribe to the channel so you can be reminded every day to come back and do that again. Join that community discord as well via the link tree link in the description below. Most importantly, have a magical day. Enjoy today's gameplay footage. Let's get into it. Going first, uh, hand doesn't look too bad. I'm going to run with this. Turn one, turn two, feels acceptable. Feels super acceptable. I'll allow it. Alrighty, our opponent's uh, deciding on their hand. I think. Yeah. They mulligans, they're going to keep the second. We can draw that third land, we're laughing. Spirit in play. Third land would be really cool. Come on. Come on. Give me that third land. Give me that third land. I tried. I tried, man. I guess we should have attacked first and then uh, faked the two mana into the spirit. It's not too important, I don't think. They wouldn't have blocked it anyways. Just one extra damage. Please, sir, may I have a land? Okay, we can bounce the root creeper. No life gain off the innkeeper. What? That's crazy. She's a brick house. <laughs> All right. Nice match. What are they doing to this creeper? Do they have an inscription on it? Just a fight effect. All right. Sag. Give me the land. Give me the land. Okay, so we've not even played our third land. They already have a Ran and Seven in play. We find our third land, feeling like an absolute god. We keep the fourth for the Mimic. We put the Mimic on the Spirit. They lose the innkeeper, ran down to one. I like that. Three cards in their hand. Plus, they grab a land. They lose two hooks and a ren. That's good news for us. Much growth here. 
We have a pretty decent hit next turn. Oops. <laughs> hey man, I was on two lands when you had Ren in play. Let's let's go. Let's go. We're just going to copy the Geist a bunch. I don't mind if we trade with the Root Creeper. Um... I think that's fine. Oh. Uh-oh. Good play. Interesting. They really want Ren to survive. That gives us the double cast at five if we can get it. Did they take a mascot? What are they taking here? Oh, uh, uh, an Archaics. Yeah, totally. That hurt. That was a good turn for them. Ren will still plus. Why didn't they play the creature land? Or at least have drawn first before they decided that. Chariot, Ren gone. Nice. Nice, nice. I'll allow it. Three mana. Four technically available. Um, three available here. Two land in hand. There's no way they still have ways to deal. Double trade, that's fine. Fear burns within us. They can activate their hall, but I'm not worried. Ooh, that's good. I'm glad we cleared the field first. The spiders are great. Power is for annihilation. Double dropping doesn't matter now, but it's still probably the best. No attacks. Next turn we can Geist. If we draw a land, we use the Mirror Hall. They'll draw here. Down to 11. Three cards in hand. They have two creature lands. Which are scary. No hook in play, though. And if they get the hook, we're screwed. They did mill two of them already, though. Oh, this is four. I thought it was five for some reason. So, yeah. Mirror Hall on the Patrician. Block that. So they block the 6-6 six, six and a 3-3. Three, three. They take 6 damage. We're taking 9 here. Down to 2. They should have grabbed another loyalty counter on Loth so they could have made more spiders. But what do I know? Down to one with the draw. They want the meat hook so bad. Do they have it? I bet they 100% they meat hook us here. No. And the proctor will make the meat hook more expensive as well. 
How in the world did we pull that off? Four lands OP, baby. Four lands OP. Going first. Two spirits in hand. I'll allow it. Counter magic's not really what we want yet, but... We can draw that third and fourth land. We're off to the races. Looking for a one drop next turn. Hmm. I'm gonna Cathar or Proctor. Since we don't get the one drop. And this is gonna shut down any of their exile. At least for a turn. Two turns. Two turns it shuts it down. Which will allow us to hold up counter magic. Our reduction is taxed, so it goes back to original cost. It does train off Thalia, which sucks. Exile the Proctor. We can't block. Fourth land. Rally on humans. Guess we just counter that. Spirit out. Ah, uh, we should have played the land first. I'm such a dangling. We have no counter magic. But we wouldn't uh, because of Thalia anyways. It doesn't matter. Hit for two, down to 17. We can push up the spirit. Hit the gym, baby. Binder grabs our snare. A wolf. Loving that. Elite Spellbinder. Cool beans. Spirit gets pushed. We could push the spirit again. Let's see how they react. I'm sure they just let it through. Could have taken two extra damage. Grab flying. I don't think it matters much. Math is hard. I didn't want to count the mana. I forget that this only costs two. Both it uh, and the Disturber are incredibly cheap. It feels like it should cost three. Four, four with flying. They're going to train and exile it though, right? They take the spirit. I'm totally fine with that. So we lose our victim, but we get the proctor and the ascendant spirit back. Nice. Oh, yeah. Mono White's a hard deck to beat. But I did enjoy that. All right, Malaganos, because this hand is just not happening. Much better. I'm going to toss a Spirit. Play my Spirit. I guess they're all, a lot of them are Spirits. <laughs> it's like, what are you referring to? Katilda, I like you. Let's hit for one. I got the mute button just in time. <laughs> that was a heavy one. A lot of pressure built up there. We're not double dropping. 
I wouldn't mind the 4-4 four, four out just in front of them, right? Looking for that one. See if they block. And then if we can get that fourth land, we can double drop next turn. Too bad it's not protection from werewolves. Ah, right? It should be from both. Honestly, it should be protection from werewolves and vampires. Come on! The life gain's nice. They'll address that first. Or they'll take the spirit. It's hard to say. I bet I would take the martyr, yeah. You can come back at five. Oh gosh. They're really gonna appreciate that. I'm back! <laughs> Looking for that fourth land. We've been having land troubles. Chariot. Oh, no. Where were you? Where were you? We should have played you last turn. Let's just swing for four. Race. Oh, sorry, five. Because it gets the plus from the spirit and from the, the tribal effect. Nice! Where's the Vigilance when you need it, right? Down to 12, we're at 25. Oh, they paid life for that. Uh-oh. Ren and Seven in play. Yikes. And now they're copying this. Yikes. Do we double block this? I feel like we do. If not, it just it does it every turn. They can only kill one, it's gonna be the Clarion Spirit. It's not. I'll allow it. And they get punished. So it'd get plus four. So we'd be at an eight eight. Let's save it. No attacks. Next turn. Next turn we get down and dirty. Three lands. Holy. Four cards in hand that we've not seen. A little worried about it. A little worried. Another chariot. They can pay two for the, the cats as well. Nice. I think we just have lethal. I can't add. Math is hard. So they block the 10 and the 8. We hit for 2, 4, 6, 11. Salute, my friend. This deck is slapping, honestly. This is performing really good. Oh, Ren and 7, Chariot. Typically, these are cards that make you scoop. I'm out of here. No, 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 no. Not today. Good game. <laughs> Woo! Omega yikes. That is absolutely atrocious. Woof. On the draw, turn one's nice. Turn three is not there. But I'll still keep it. Like, I don't want to throw away three land of both colors with a one drop. And a three drop. Our two drop can be the spirit ability. If we don't need to counter or hope. 
all of which are instant speed, so... I'll pass turn. This will stop the attack. Because they know we can push up. Get that out of here. It's pretty big, isn't it? So we should have attacked. Way she goes, though. This can stay tapped. Free and clear. Two fading hopes. Looking for a second white source, please. Uh-oh. This could be bad. This could get weird. A lot of life gain. Yikes. Okay. Now they can't afford to replay the Scoot Swarm. Attrition stays. It buffs up the team, right? There's still 20 freaking life, though. And they're gonna be making those... those freaking things soon. We can Fading Hope one if they double block. We also get to Scry from it. Land goes. Woohoo! This is gonna be a close one. Oh! We tap a Shia. Take our swing. Oh, we could have gave this flying first. I hate my life. What did I just do? Did we just miss lethal? Four? Oh my god. We just missed lethal. Whoops. It's okay. We like to make these challenges a little bit harder than they are sometimes. Cobra's fine. The life gain's ridiculous, though. Remember that time we missed lethal? This is crazy. Whoops. My bad. Three cards in their hand. Let's pray that's it. No, I'm not blocking that. Because they play it as a creature, which is a land. Oh, we couldn't dump into this. I did not miss lethal. I just thought we did because it lights up because you can pay that two ability again. Oh, no, we did because we played the Cathilda after. We had that land untapped.
Holy Toledo's. I'm pretty sure we still get it. There's no reach. Ooh. This deck is that good, you guys. I, I call some decks idiot-proof because I misplay. I'm an idiot. And uh, this is one of them. This is an idiot-proof deck. You misplay, it's fine. You'll get it next turn, bud. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Man, this build is so cool. I actually love this. Going first. Ah, it's not great, but it's there. I mean, turn two is nice. Turn three is even better. Casual 4-4. Four, four. Like, this could just block against an aggro deck for a while. They could remove it. I hate the Sentinel against us. We need it to attack so we can keep it tapped is the thing. They take a hope. Let's play the new body and hold up Baiting Hope. Not bad. It's not a land, I guess. Maybe we should be looking for a land. Can't believe you just attacked. Binders locked down. We should just have air superiority. Hopefully there's no more exile. That's a good sign. We lose our vengeful victim. I know, I know. I almost played it next turn, but I was like, well, they've got exile. They're just going to take that creature. Oops. If only this wasn't bounced, it would be nice and cheap, right? So we get the Vengeful Victim out. We have... Oh, really? Dang, man. Three Exiles. That's crazy. Down to eight. They're going to have lethal before we do. Two, four. Yeah, they just have it. They have twos and threes. They can't activate Coven. They'd be hitting for so much damage.
And if we don't play, it goes to nighttime. Dang, man. So they have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. They have removal, we lose. Right, we can block one of the attackers and then hit for lethal. If they have any more exile, they win. Liar blocks. What? <laughs> okay, 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 brutal Cathar much, bruh? That's beyond luck. That is beyond luck. Holy. <laughs> Alrighty then. I did not expect this deck to perform so well in Mythic. When we were creating it in the play queue, which typically I build my decks in the play queue, play test them, fine tune them, and then we move into Mythic, it performed incredibly. And I was like, you know what? This is just the play queue. Let's get into some real matches. And it honestly did not disappoint. I think that uh, Azorius Spirits, it's, it's gonna be around. And like this has very little counter magic in it. We can be sideboarding more counter magic in it for certain like, oh man, this deck is gonna be Yep, right here, boys and girls, ghouls and goblins, this is the one. Uh, what do you guys think of the deck? How can we switch it up? What would you like to see included, dropped, and or sideboarded, right? So let's start that discussion because version two uh, is gonna be an absolute slapper and we'll try to include the, uh, the sideboard for that. So thank you all for your time and attention. I really do appreciate each and every one of you who are here daily to help support the channel, that watch time, the likes, the comments, it really goes a long ways financially for me on the business end. And then, uh, you know, I hope you're enjoying as well. Take care and we'll see you soon in the next.